again. Yeah, it's another it. Friday. Yeah. We love Fridays. You know why we love Fridays? Happy Fridays. Because of Happy Fridays. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, but we're good to look at some gear. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Providing you with hopefully semi-useful information. That one. Yeah, yeah. You may notice that we have stuff in front of us that we've talked about before. Yes. And well, some stuff, this one. stuff that we haven't talked about before. This one. Now, Jono, what <laughs> yes. are we doing today? Today we are looking at lightweight hardware. Yes. The two options that we have in front of us yeah. are Yamaha. HW3s. DW? 6,000. 6,000. That was, that was your cue to it, it say. It was. <laughs> and and I, I was like, it's a bigger number than three. <laughs> so <laughs> HW3. Yes. DW 6,000 Ultra Ultralight. Yes. That's the one. Okay. Now, we, we reviewed this. Yes. The week that we bought it, we did a video straight away because we thought it was so cool. Yeah. Now, We've had a bit of experience, eh? Still pretty cool. Yeah, it is very cool. But we just We're figured out all the things yeah, now, that work and don't work. That's right. We have <laughs> all the feedback for you on this one. Um, this DW set arrived with your new kit. Yeah. The Daru Jones. Jones. You would have seen that yeah, in yeah. previous videos. Yeah, a couple of videos now. Yeah. Um, so we just want to do a breakdown of what the DW Lightweight hardware is compared to the Yamaha. Because yeah. these are probably the two at the moment. Yeah. You know? Um, well, the two that are working like... Yeah. With mainstream companies and all that, so. That's it, um, for lightweight hardware. Yeah. Yeah. So, how about um, we open up the bags? Yes. And we'll have a bit of chat. All right, I'm gonna put my um, bag on the floor and then pull the gear on the table. It, 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 talk about the bag first. Oh. Your bag's smaller yeah. than my bag, isn't it? Yes, but it's heavier. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, at the moment, yours is heavier. Because you got extra gear in there. Do I? Yep. I packed your bag. <laughs> <laughs> All the fishing sinkers. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you put it on the floor, a yes. couple of things, right? These these are the facts. Yes. The real facts. I wrote down the facts to make sure that we knew. So, the HW3 uh, retail price. Yes. $519 Australian. Wow, that's good. That's okay. really good. That's a whole that's a hardware pack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. So snare, and, um, hi hats and two. Two simple yes, sets. Yes, that's it. Yep. No kicks. No. Yeah. Now, the best price I've found it for under the retail uh, is four hundred and nine dollars Australian. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a good deal. That's a good know? deal. Now the DW six thousand set, the regular retail price is a bit more. Yeah. Okay. Big so DW. This is seven hundred and ninety six dollars Australian. Yeah. Which is more than a standard pack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the best price that I've been able to find it online is five ninety nine. Okay. So they're no, within a comparable yeah, range, you know? Two bucks difference. This at the best price sort of semi compares with this at its normal price. Yeah. Um, so they're in the same range. Yeah. Jono, do you know how much yours weighs? Nah, tell me. Tell you? I need to look at my computer screen. Yes, use a computer. 8.25 kilograms. Nice. Okay. Now, which one do you think is lighter? Well, I've always said this one. You have. I feel like, like I'm wrong. For, for weeks, you've said that's I've lighter. I've said that. I feel like I'm wrong there. So I went to the product page for both of them, <laughs> and this one's <laughs> lighter. Yeah, <laughs> of course it is. How hey, much so, lighter? So this is 7.8. So not quite, but almost so four, half, 450 four, grams. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's not too much. No. It's a bag of Again, sugar. Again, it, it's... <laughs> If you're taking sugar to your gigs, I guess so, you know? But, I mean, again, it's close enough to be comparable. And yeah. I think the important thing that we're, we're not saying at the moment is this compared to all other hardware sets. Yes. You know? Like, if you compare 7 kilos, 7.8, uh, to your normal traps case, yeah. oh, my goodness. My, like my traps case is more than half. Yeah. More than half. Yeah, Mine is right. like 30 or 40 kilos because I'm using the high-end, you know, hardware a lot of the time yeah. because I've always had that mentality I must have strong hardware because I'm gigging because a lot. I'm a strong man <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's it that's, that's why it. he's got the strong hardware that's it yes I'm not a strong man <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, let's move on how about we put these on the floor yes you can do that now okay. I'll let you all right thank and you. Um, we'll go piece by piece and compare each one as we go through. Which one shall we start with? What would you like to start with? The snare drum stand. Okay, let's go with the snare right. drum stand. We'll see you in a second. Ugh. Okay. Hey, um. What's wrong with yours? Mine looks different to yours. Yours is encased with but, protective gear. Yes. Mine's a strong man gear. What's wrong yes. with yours? Yes, just like the strong man, naked. <laughs> 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 so, all of mine come in little baggies. 
I'd be throwing them away as quickly you as possible. Throw away the baggies? I would. That would be gone. That's yeah? a complete time waste when you're why, in the gig. Why doesn't yours have baggies? Because it's made for a real musician. Yeah, but it's got <laughs> it's got dividers in the back. I'm okay. trying to be <laughs> useful. <laughs> trying to be useful. <laughs> dividers in the bag. Yes, All right. you have dividers. I don't have dividers. What's the big difference between this one and that one, Mozzie? Well, one looks like a spaceship and one looks like a snare stand. I can build a spaceship! 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine is a traditional standard mount at the base of the snare stand. Yeah, I like this. Yes, I like this too. Yeah. I like it, that it's, too. It's I like it that the basket clamp does its normal thing. It, it's normal drubby stuff. It is. What, All right, what let me just. Do? Look, mine, mine's got the flat base thing. Now, I found this weird at first, but I've kind of actually come around to it. But it's see. You're it, gonna dent our table with that. I'm 100%. Yeah, 100%. Dent. But it's still pretty sturdy. It's not as sturdy as that one. No. But I've got this, and then these ones come around like this. Yeah, I told you it was a spaceship. It is, and they fold out and they clamp on. No. And then this one kind of does a springy job to make the snare drum stay in. So you gotta do a lot of thumb wiggles. What are you doing? I'm playing finger wiggle. Well, you pull this one, and then the snare drum slips in it. Let it go. Oh, and and it's like, on. It, it grips it. Yes. So, what it, okay. as a snare drum goes, snare drum stands. It's still pretty conventional. This is like an old, <laughs> yes, old style kind yes, of way yes, of doing things. Yes, that's right. The top. Um, Remember they used to have like the, the bit that slid in and out and then a wing nut underneath it and yeah. tighten to clamp it on. Anyway, this is this is still works. It, it's yeah. still good. So you've had this for about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything you've noticed or any qualms you've had with the snare setup? No. Th this did, did it hang on? Did it take you a while to figure this out? It did. It took me a few minutes. So it's not. But like, now you're happy because you, you know. And knowing is half the battle. I don't yeah. mind it. I don't yeah. mind. Like I still prefer that. Yeah. Um, is that even in the camera there, mate? Yeah, I, I, they can see a little bit. Otherwise, it's in front of my face. Put it now in I'm a spaceship. Now I'm a spaceship. There you go. There you go. All right. I of these two, I I like the traditional. Yes. Base. Yes. I think is the main thing. And, no, no, and this I, this whole yeah. construction, I prefer this whole construction over the DW yes. design. But yeah. I mean, you saw that's tiny. Yeah. This is so light. Yeah. So light. Yeah. I mean. I know you, that your bag is lighter somehow, but this is heavier than I my snare I must save stand. it somewhere else. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't had any issues with this. I've no. had it for three months, yeah. two months, something like that, and the snare stand has it been works. perfect. Yeah. yeah, I can't complain about that. What's the one thing? We had a question on our channel. Oh, yes, oh, yes. So, so somebody jumped on and asked, can I use this snare mount, the HW3 series, yep. to hold up a tom instead of a snare? Yeah. Uh, we tried this for another video. There yep. were two problems. The first one is around the resonance of your tom. Yep. Uh, the second that we put it into a bracket, especially if it was clamped. Yeah. Um, Killed the tone. Yeah. It, it just became dead. Dead. Very, so, very muted. No sustain. In general, I'd probably hesitate to put them but to just going a bit like further that. than yeah. that once we extended the height out and then yes. we had it at the height if you want to watch the video that we did it was the one where we were checking out the Sennheiser E604 and the the fake 904 mic but yeah. the tom would fall once we that, had it extended right. out as well yeah. even with the legs right out and as sturdy as we could get it it just like if you're a heavy hitter and whatnot, it's not it, ideal to have a nice this, tom this on there this is a snare stand it is a snare stand the end that's it you know like that sort of yeah. answers the question. I, I personally wouldn't use it to put a nice tom on there. That, that being said, I don't think I would use any of the hardware that we're looking at today necessarily by itself. This one would 100% not do the job either. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. How about we pull out the next one? Good. What are we doing? Be right back. Oh. Before we're back, I picked the last one. You, you, you well, pick this one. I mean, if we've done this, we should do hi hats. All right, hi hats then. Okay, be, be right, right back. back. Oh. Here it is. I got a bag. I don't. You don't. You don't need a bag. I don't, I don't need a bag. Strongman stuff. Remember. Oh, I'll just empty out my bag. Now, this is probably one of the more contentious just saying, issues between the two. Before you even say that, mine's quicker to set up because it's not in a bag. So you got to fold up your little sleeve there. Well, whereas neck minute. Maybe I should have tried oh, without the the bag. I'm gonna ruin the table. Oh, you're gonna the, pin it. I got the spiky things on my legs here. Okay, to ruin the table. I mean, you've already cut a hole in it, so. <laughs> Jono tried to cut a hole in his bass drum on the table. Yeah. 
Pro tip, don't do that. It's right here. Molzo can do a shot of it. <laughs> Just flash it up here. I'm not going to show anybody, okay. mate. Okay, don't show it. But look. Look how quick it is to put together. I love it. Hi hat stands. Hi hat stands. Now, as I was saying, as you start talking about your pin. <laughs> so this is probably the, the place that has the most issues for me after my three month time. Yep. Yes? Yep, 100%. Would, would you agree with that? I agree. You agree, fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna talk first and we can talk about yours after. Okay. Um, let's talk about the problem. Yeah. There's two, yep. two problems. First of all, uh, if you were trying to run a double kick pedal with this, the kick pedal sits here, I'll find a photo, I'll put it in, um, and you have to get your foot underneath this beam just here. It's yep, not, not fantastic. What? This is not movable. No. This is a fixed um, yep. mechanism here, rather than the it, usual yeah, ones that are on a bearing that can move. Yeah, so I, I guess they just did it for stability. Um, if you were gigging, how often do you take out a double kick? Oh, personally, I take one every week. Yeah? Yeah. And I mean, I'm just doing cover band stuff. But yeah. I still take it. I don't use it all the time. But yeah. if I've got a solo and whatnot, I want the you options. You want the double kick. I want that, the options. That's there. right. So I mean, this may not be for everybody because yeah. that is definitely. If we one go of one step further, we did a. If you watched last week's vlog or whenever it was, uh, with the Daru Jones kit versus, versus the Frankie, Frankie kit, kit yep. um, we had double kick pedals set up on both. Now. Uh, after running the song a couple of times, I decided not to use the double kick pedal on Molzo's kit yeah. because I couldn't get my foot in there properly and I just knew I wouldn't execute things correctly. Um, so for not... To keep it fair. To keep it fair, I didn't do I did the, the same on mine. I didn't use the double kick, even though it worked fine on my, my setup and all that. Yeah. Um, just it was super difficult trying to get my foot through here. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the second issue. Yeah. This is probably a bigger deal. Yeah. So... There is no spring uh, attenuation mechanism on this hi-hat stand. Yep. And I would argue that it's also potentially a little bit weak. It is very weak. I yes. mean, we're not, we're not using light hi-hats either. No, no. I, I mean... Yeah, I'm using those Soundcaster Fusions. Which are vinyl. heavy symbols. They're, they're heavy symbols. Um, but I have to compress this a lot to support the weight of the top hat. Yeah, so if you want height, but you want to have... You've got to have a fair bit of... You know, downward yeah. movement there before right. the symbols actually move properly. Yeah. So again, this is probably the area where I've got the most, not necessarily problems, but concerns or yeah. interests. How they're going to work out over the time? I, I reckon they should just have like a little spring adjustment there, yeah. like well, everyone when, else has. When these are out of warranty, I'm probably just going to pull it apart and put in a bigger spring. Yeah. You know. Um, but while it's still in warranty, I'm going to leave it as is. Yeah. Um, how is yours? So mine. When I first pulled it out of the bag, I was like, "Far it, out is a skinny." It name. is. There's nothing to it. It's. I was. I wasn't sure. After doing the videos and a bit of playing on it and whatnot, it actually works quite fine. I'm, this I'm, is funny too. Yeah. Really? The, yeah. It's. I don't know. If yeah. It's just saving weight and all that. But nonetheless, it all works. I'm actually keen to see how it goes over the next six months with durability, flogging yeah. it at gigs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But at the moment, it works. The the legs have little spikes in them. That are now on our table. That on our table. Yep. Mounting. Look, I've made you, holes you, already. Be um, the base of the hi hat has uh, Velcro on it as well, as well. So it out of the box. Out of the box. Yep. So it's it it sticks to the carpet. It, it's on there. It doesn't move. Thing I do love about it, it has the spring um, tension adjustment here. Yeah. Um, and it's quite a good adjustment feature as well. Uh, it it works. So when I put mm. your hi hats on here, uh, just to test it. I could get this right up and it would go bing straight back up. It was good. Um, my only concern is how how thin it is uh, yeah. and durability over time. I, I think compared gonna, to compared to like this one, that's right. traditional kind of. I, I feel like we're going to say the same thing over yeah. and over again for a little bit with this video. But it there's nothing wrong with it now. It just makes me nervous. Yeah, it does. It, okay. right, me too. You know. And I mean, you've played it now. You haven't really noticed the difference between that and a normal stand. No. So. Yeah, it's just going to be a wait and see. The only other thing that I really, really like about this stand is even though I'm not used to the conventional flat base kind of thing where this is what I know in all my life, um, in this scenario out of the two of these, this works with a double kick pedal. Yes. So yeah, I can, Again, I'll put up a picture. This, this you can slide fit. your double kick pedal here, run it straight down the side here, and uh, this bar doesn't interfere with the plate as it comes down. Yep. Um, it's perfect. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah! Yeah, winner. Yeah. Um, so, 
as far as gigging, usability, and all that consider. kind of stuff, it's great. Yeah. Yep, that's it. All right. Next ones. Have a look. But I'll, I'll pick this one. We're doing a straight stand. Okay. Fantastic. Because <laughs> they're both straight stands. <laughs> yes, that's there's all no, got left. There's okay. no boom stands. Actually, we'll just pull one out and... Yes, yeah, 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 right. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Here it is. Baggy. Most useless thing in the world. I, th this, I hate this. This. Like... I, I, I'm just showing you what's in the bag, mate. Dividers. Yes. Dividers. Yep. Um, this is the first time that this probably has a smaller footprint than that. Yeah. Uh, it is a little bit shorter. Yeah. Um, but other than that... Oh, hold um, on, let me fold the head down. Oh, no, it doesn't go down, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Yeah, All yeah. Right. So, uh, again, this Yours, is conventional uh, sort of base. This is flat base. Goes up. This, 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 these, are, these are sort of basically what you would expect. Yeah. You know? Um, let's talk about the the amazing thing with this though. Yep. Um, we are mounting two rack toms. Yep. An 8 and, inch and a 12 inch. And a crash off this exact stand. Yeah. Zero issues. Yeah. So the Yamaha so Tri mount yeah. actually fits yeah, yeah. So into the, so the first tier. Right in here. Yeah. I think I have it somewhere here. It's you somewhere. talk. I'll be back. All right. So, the one thing that we do like about this is with the conventional basing compared to the flat basing, you can actually get the legs wide enough that it, it will support quite a fair bit of weight on top. Check it out! It works! It fits! And look, the arm down here, down here, it all works together. It's like Yamaha planned it. Yeah, um, I think they might have. The thing I do like is the front here where you've got your mounting. Uh, where you're mounting your tom, sorry, there's a leg down the front, so yeah. it's got the weight support, so it doesn't topple over. That, and all that that's right. Stuff. And I mean, because this is a conventional stand, we can lower these out to have a larger footprint. Yeah. Everything just is so strong. It works. You know? um, whatever the that the aluminium composite magic is that they're doing with this, that's in their motorbikes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it doesn't flex like it's it's, it's strong, rock solid. Yeah. Um, all right, let's fit that tri mount in this one now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, oh, hang on, I'll get something to clamp to. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. These ones, are what you see is what you get. It's a symbol stand. That's yes. it. Don't try and mount anything off of it. Nope. Um, the the flat base doesn't allow for that kind of, I guess, extra mounting. Yeah. Facilities. It's just that's a symbol stand. That's right. Uh, with the kit that I got it with, the Daru Jones kit. That's all I need because the toms mount into the bass drum and really it's designed as a travel kit so you're actually trying to play a smaller setup. You're not trying to go bigger. Yeah. So what comes in the box is what, what you, you get, get, you know? But this, so this would work for those conventional kind of, if you're buying this hardware to go with another kit, uh, you have to realise that if you want a tom, the tom needs to be mounted somewhere but not from this. Yeah, um, you're going to have to run another stand. Another stand, or if it goes out of the bass drum, it has to be yeah, I was that way. This bit on your bass drum? Or yeah, or yeah, yeah, something you know? like that. The, yeah. These won't hold it, Tom. Yeah. No way. I, I um, guess this brings us to the biggest thing we've noticed between the two. All right, they're both good. Yeah. Uh, after some time, I've figured out some things about this one, but really what it comes down to is this is made to run a, a small setup, and yep, that is all it. you do. Yeah. Whereas this is made to be light, and then bring in all your other stuff if you, you want to. You can do a bit yeah. more with that one, with the way that it's set up, 100%. Yep. So, that's sort of where we're at. But you know what I love about both of them? What? They're light. No, oh, yeah. They're so light. Yeah. I don't really care which one I had in my back pocket. I, I think this, To go to a gig. This try mount probably doubles the weight of the bag. Oh, it's, about, it's about the same weight as your bag. Yeah. The biggest thing is we are more than halving the weight of a traps case. Yeah, that, that in itself is like, yes. anyone that's gigging two, three, four nights a week, where you're moving in and out of clubs and it's all you 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 know in a, in a city a big built up area where you're trying to run from taxis and whatnot these are just ideal yeah you know to put your your stool base seat in there uh, a, a single kick drum pedal that folds up uh, you've already I, done it I, hey I've got one yeah here. Jono has found a really flat pack Yamaha pedal that one there that just folds straight up yeah you're gonna try this for a while aren't you yeah yeah. So, in my bag, all I'm running extra in there is my steel base, the tom mount, the tom legs, and that uh, bass drum pedal. It is still super, it's it's so much lighter. Yeah. Like, I can lift it up one hand, no problem. I don't need something with wheels on it. That's it. And all that, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, Unreal. you're running a small gig kit like the Drew Jones. Yeah. You strip back, 
the franken kit to its main components yeah realistically it's one walk in with three maybe four bags that's if it. that and yep. you're done you know so i, I just i don't they're, they're, everything's gonna have problems i love how light they are <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right there's always going to be concessions yeah to get to the point where you can run this sort of thing. but hopefully the information we've shared with you today can help you make a decision on which one you're yeah, going to go to with your kit because i think they're for two different people yeah i 100%. think that's what it comes down to yeah yeah you wouldn't have put a heavy hitter on my gear no i don't uh, to be fair i don't think you'd do it on either of them no but i mean i think your one yeah it probably supports it a little bit better. it might last five minutes more but you know five yeah. minutes is five minutes that, that's exactly right guys we're gonna call it there happy friday we love fridays happy friday enjoy your weekend we'll see you soon like share subscribe all those things check Bye. out the card